pretty new um, Angular application created here, and it's just showing a single component. There's no drag and drop functionality here yet at all. In the um, app module, um, I have installed the drag drop module from the Angular CDK drag drop. So you have to NPM install the Angular CDK and the drag drop module. And then also the browser animations module um, that'll come in handy for some of the things we're going to do here. My app component is empty. It's just showing this app list NR. App list NR, the HTML looks like this. A div with a class of box, a little bit of text in it. There's nothing at all in the TypeScript file. I borrowed some CSS from the Angular CDK documentation for this and modified it slightly um, just to draw the little box. And you'll notice the CSS transition for the shadow. So the shadow's animated a little bit when you click on the thing from these settings to slightly bigger here when it's the active element. So if I want to make that a drag and droppable thing, um, the most basic thing is just CDK drag. And you add that on like this. And now I can just move it around to any old place at all. There's several examples of how to use the drag and drop on the material.angular.io CDK slash drag dash drop overview page. Um, I'm going to jump around some of these, like the ability to have drop targets where you can drop at specific places and move on to just a demonstration of um, dragging and dropping lists of data, um, you know, reordering a list of data. And I think that kind of covers a lot of the things you'll want to do. And I'm going to do that demonstration twice, once with um, just uh, plain Angular with TypeScript and another one using um, Redux and storing the state in the Redux store. Okay, now I've updated this to be a list of books and their authors. Um, right now it doesn't have any drag drops functionality. It's styled a little bit with, again, some more CSS I just borrowed from the Angular CDK website. The HTML, oops, the HTML for that looks like this. I'm just ng4ing over a collection of books stored inside my component. There's the books. Um, and if I want to make those drag and drop, I'll add to the container CDK drop list and to each item CDK drag. And now easy as that, I can reposition these things. However, as soon as I let them go, they go back to their uh, original position. So I'm going to write just a little bit of code here um, that will call every time something is dro um, dropped. And that will be, we'll call it drop, and you get a reference to an event, which is a CDK drag drop and we'll do it as one of those a title and an author and there's a little helper method you can use that comes with the um, CDK called move item in array and this dot books event dot previous index event dot current index so move the books from where it was to where it should be now and it kind of just shuffles them within the actual array and then on the html um, we will tell it to call that event every time here Oops, this actually goes on the list here. Like that. And now we 
should be able to, and indeed can, reorder these things. Okay, next I want to show how you might accomplish something similar using Redux. So I've set up a simple Redux state here. Um, we have our list of books in a books reducer on the right hand side. Each book entity has an ID, a title, and an author. And then um, I'm using the NGRX entity state and I added an additional property to this. I just feel like it's a little safer, a little better idea to keep the order that things are sorted in in a separate property on the state. In other words, don't sort the actual IDs of the thing. Um, just because then you can um, retrieve just that little bit of state from somewhere else. You know, perhaps you're not um, storing that at the server, you're gonna store it in local ser uh, storage or something like that. Um, and I created my selectors here. I have one for my books branch. So my state has a property called books, book state, and then the books branch. And I got the keys from the books branch. So a reference to these keys. So by default, they're sorted in the order they're in the state. And then I got the entities here, which remember is a reference to this object. And then to get the book list, I didn't use a model for this demonstration, a little bit of a sin, but um, I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. I take both those keys and the entities here and here and go through the each key and map that to one of the entities. In the list component, Nothing on the HTML side changed other than I'm now working with an observable of books. So I changed the name there and used the async pipe. Same uh, drop event, um, though the code's going to dispatch an action instead, and I'll show that in just a moment. Um, I have my observable of books. I inject my store. I select from that select book list. That's the one we just looked at here. And then that displays the list, and on the drop event now, um, I did it of book entity, the CDK drag drop, I did that of book entity. Um, I dispatched to the store a book sorted, and book sorted action just looks like this. It's an action with two properties. What's the previous index? What's the current index? So I dispatch for the previous index, the event's previous index, for the current index, for the event's current index, etc. So if I go back to the book reducer and in the on here where I handle that, so when book sorted, I get the state and the action. I return a new state that looks just like the old state, but the sort keys is um, reorganized. And I can't use the helper method that we used in the previous example because that does an in-place mutation of that array. So I added a little utility function, and if you go to the GitHub, I'll put a link to that at the end of this, you go to the GitHub where that's located, um, you can pull this down, and it's a little function to just immutably change an array. 